Welcome to a LearnFluteOnline.com lesson. I'm Rebecca, and this is Note Reading and Playing 3 for the flute students in Module 3. We've already learned these musical symbols. A half note, where the note head is empty, is equal to blowing a tone for two counts. A quarter note, where the note head is filled in, is equal to blowing a tone for only one count. We also learned that the squiggly black symbol is a quarter rest, where we simply rest for one count. We also know that the treble clef sits on the left side at the beginning of each line of music staff. The musical staff is comprised of five straight lines. Any note placed directly on the middle line is given the name B and has the pitch also named B. It sounds like this. We've already learned the fingering on the whole flute that plays this pitch. We need to use our index finger on our left hand and our thumb behind on the smaller square key. We need to always remember to use our right hand pinky on the first square key of the foot joint. Let's play an exercise now. It won't be long and you'll be playing and reading short songs. Let's get started. You'll be holding and balancing your flute all put together today. Balancing the flute is pretty tricky for a few days or even a few weeks. Just keep trying and watch the tone technique video from this module 3 where my son Brayden demonstrated how to hold the whole flute once it's all put together. Let's begin our exercise for now. Have your flute ready and let's play along. Many students might need to try this over and over for a few days before mastering these skills, but if this comes quickly to you, feel free to move on before completing or after completing this video. Play a quarter note on a B. Remember that quarter notes are blown for one count. Now play a half note on a B. Remember that half notes are blown for two counts. Good job. Both of these notes are played with the B fingering, even though they are blown for different lengths. Exercise one. I'll demonstrate first, then you play. Your turn. Exercise page two. My turn first. You'll notice I'm giving a little space between the two lines, just so that you can get used to moving from one line to another. Your turn. Exercise page three. I'll demonstrate first. Next line. Your turn. Good job. Okay, now I'd like you to do exercise page four all by yourself. I just want you to press pause here and go ahead and work on this one a few times and make sure that you can play it really, really well all by yourself.
If you can play all of these exercises with no problems, then definitely it's time for you to go on to the next lesson. If you found this video somewhere other than the Learn Flute online website, go to http colon forward slash forward slash learnfluteonline.com where I teach step by step how to play the flute, read sheet music, and also how to play by ear. I provide the ultimate experience in online flute lessons. You can even try my lessons for free.